Hello friend, this is Sonam. Today in this Power Automate tutorial, we will discuss how to convert a string to array, array format. So that means we will assign a string variable and then we will convert this to array format. This is the preview of the entire flow that I have created. So where I have added a trigger and then we have added some actions to convert this string variable to array. Let's see to how to work with this in the power automate so here in the power automate i have just created i have triggered this flow in manually then i have did a initialize the variable that is string variable with some assigning some values then after that some with some expression i just compose this array where string variable to the array format let's see how to work with this from the beginning so i just log in my let's search office.com and login our office 365 user id click on sign in then let's go to that sign in and here we, i'm giving my office id then go to next then sign in then yes okay so after a while the place will come in like this and then go to that app launcher and here we can find all the application that integrated with the microsoft 365 if you don't find all that application here then you can go to that all apps and you can find this application there and for creating the power flow let's go to that power automate here we can find that power automate here and then go to that ellipses click on that and go to that open in new tab so after a while it will appear and okay not now okay so let's create this flow for this let's go to that create section and here you can find all the type varieties of the flow type so we can create and as per now we are just creating an instant cloud flow let's go to that instant cloud flow so and let's go to that manually and give a flow name that convert string to array so in our last video i discussed about how to convert a string to a date format and also how to convert a string in number format so please i recommend you to go to that watch once that video and you will get definitely some ideas how to convert the string to another format and you can get this video link on our description and as well as you can get this flow from the article that we have described we have got then let's go to that create and okay so let's close this okay even here also let's close this click go to the new step and the in flow the trigger is added next we need to add the some logical actions for this let's go to so to initialize the array variable let's go to that initialize variable you can find the in variable connectors you can find all the yeah this here this one the initialize variable and let's give a variable name suppose i'm giving var but the type should be the string as we convert the string variable to the array format so here i'm giving a var name and you can give anything suppose let's give var value and the value should be in the string format so i'm giving some strings like some name i'm giving some name like john rocky some people name i'm just giving ali and of course my name that is so no yeah now our variable is ready or oh, we just initialize a string variable let's give this name initial string variable so people can understand it what action is going on and once the string variable assigned then next go to that new step and here we can convert the string variable to the array format using some particular expression for this let's go to compose within the compose action we will add some expression so in the data operation we can find the compose action let's go to that compose and click on once it is added click here the input section and let's go to that expression here we can okay let's hide this let's give some expression to create to format this string variable to array format for this there is a, f a function that is array click on that array and give parenthesis and then go to that 
dynamic content and still select that variable var value okay let's click on that okay so the expression will add it to this composed inputs and that's it only within few second we can convert the string variable to the array so let's rename this action the compose naming conversion is the most importantly thing so that user when we deliver our flow and uh, apps so that user can understand which action and which things are going on so here i'm just con giving the name convert string to array let's now that's it and we should save this once it is saved it will so yeah now the flow is ready to go and we recommend you to test it we definitely test this flow and test flow click on manually and test it and click on run flow and then just done and finally yeah your flow ran successfully that means it's done within second zero second it is take it took zero second only so let's go to that initialize variable and here we can find that strings the variables are in string format and then let's go to that convert array so here we can find these are converted to the array function and this is how we can convert a string to a array as the array took the similar data types so okay let's see uh, suppose i'm going to take here i'm going to take in string variable okay some name with name as the name mostly sorry as a number so number is already a string and th that can be a number so it will be converted into the array format easily let's save this flow again and test it yeah run flow yeah it's it take that number that 45 as a string and convert it into the string yeah and similarly if i'm going to take a number because it is a variable i'm taking that 45 also including the number let's see no it will not taking that parameter invalid parameter so we need to take that this string and 45 is converted to the st string value also we are assigning that number into string okay okay yeah just click and run flow and we can see it will convert it to the the names into the array format similarly if i am taking that number only 41 25 20 35 30 and click on test test it manually and we can see it will take those number also in array format it will show that number in array format yeah so this is how we can convert a string variable to the array format in power automate so i hope guys you like this video and please like that and subscribe and share this to your colleagues and friends to help them to get some more ideas about power automate and how to use this in their daily life and automate their process and for more free videos tutorial on SAP point online power apps power automate power bi python machine learning and many more please subscribe to our youtube channel taste info technologies and thanks for watching have a nice day